Everybody wants to be a winner, but not everyone wants to do the action that's going to make them a winner. The only thing that makes you a winner is having self-control because winners gain that title by having the most discipline that they could possibly develop within their own fucking stature. They have the most of every single character trait that a winner has because winning the concept of winning, it always wants to get rid of everyone who isn't deserving of it because that's 99.9% .9 of people. They're not deserving of becoming a winner and having that title. And that's simply because they don't work on developing self-control. They don't put down the drugs. They don't put down the bad vices that are hindering them from achieving what they want to achieve. They're not able to sit down and reflect and look at themselves in the mirror and say, no, I can't do this shit anymore because I'm, I deserve more. It's the people that are willing to have the tough conversation with themselves and compete with themselves. Fuck everyone else. Fuck everyone else. Compete with yourself. It's always been you against you. You hear this shit all the time, but fuck it, bro. It's, it's all you have. Who the fuck are you actually competing against? You wake up every single day and you have to fight to get out of bed. Nobody else is fighting against you. You have to be the one that doesn't click the fucking snooze. You have to be the one that doesn't order that food that you fucking shouldn't be eating. You have to be the one that decides to go to the gym. You have to make that decision. So that's why it's such bullshit when everyone around you is like, who the fuck are you competing against? You're competing against the whole world and everything is so competitive, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you'll beat everyone else because everyone's fighting against themselves anyway. So if you just win the battle against you, then you're going to kill everyone else. And that's the key to success that nobody talks about. So if you want to become successful, you want to kill your, your opponents, it's easy. Kill the weakness inside of you. Win the battle against you. Don't let these extra voices, all this contrary discussion about it should be this way or you should do it this way or why'd you do it that way? Just fuck with your head. Don't let it fuck with you. Okay, you have to take the action anyway. And they always say, take the action anyway, but fuck how you feel. It's true, but if you don't sit back and reflect why you don't feel good taking the action, it's something deeper that has to be addressed. Something is clearly resisting the leap into the future best version of yourself. Within inside of you, something is resisting it. And because you feel that resistance and that tension in your heart, and it's like, why is it, why is it so tight? Or you feel your heart is constricting, like someone's gripping it. It's the anxiety, it's the fucking annoyance, it's the anger that builds up inside of you when you just can't figure out why you can't just be at peace. And it, there's a large plethora of reasons, and it's all specific to the individual, but I know for a fucking fact that that voice and those, those constrictions within inside of your heart are no longer gonna be there. They're gonna dissipate when you start to be more congruent with what you say and what you do. These, this bridge here, what you say and what you do, the bridge has to be like this, okay? And th th this is the connection to your fulfillment within inside of yourself. It's the amount of times you've broken your word is just probably, abs it's fucking absurd how many times you've broken your word. So you genuine, and I made a fucking video on this. You talk to yourself in this negative manner. You're like, oh, why is everything happening to me? Why, why me, why me, why me? I'm guilty of it too, bro. I'm not saying I'm special. I'm trying to make you understand a fucking point. Is that it's the selfish talk that you have with yourself that will con continuously make you feel more anxious, more depressed, more sad. Why isn't it going the way I want it to go? Why is there adversity being thrown away? You asked for it, bro. You did ask for it. You asked to become the best version of yourself. So you, God is giving you adversity, adversity, adversity. Test, test, test. Can you handle it? Are you gonna crumble? I know for a fact that I have moments where I'm like, holy shit. I didn't even realize this whole time I was being tested until later on when I might have fucked it up already. Or if I overcame it, I was like, wow, I just fucking overcame this. Like, holy shit. And you get this, this wave of clarity. Either way, you get a wave of clarity. Whether you succeed or whether you fail, because life is going to show you, hey, man, you just fucked it all up. Or congratulations, on to the next level. That's all life is. It's just test after test after test after test. Level up, level up, level down. 
Fucking stagnation. Okay, we're going up again. We're going back down. Oh, fuck. We just got knocked down. We gotta get back up. That's all life is. It's just constant. It's an endless battle, which is why you have to develop the character traits that are going to be able to sustain long term in that, this endless battle of life. Okay, as men, you have to be willing to become the person that you aren't right now so you can gain all of your future desires and wishes that you wish you had in this present moment. You have to sacrifice who you are now and become that person in the present moment that you envision yourself being. Once you have the clear vision in your mind, once it's, once it's perfectly fucking clear, then you literally just have to take action by breaking it down how to get there. Once you break it down to the T, boom, 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 boom. Action, 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 action. Write it, write down five things, six things, seven things, eight things. You gotta get done every single day. And if you can get all of them done every single day, that is the only thing that should give you dopamine. It is the only thing that should give you positive feedback. It shouldn't be the actual, actual results that you're getting because the results are delayed. This is the, one of the biggest struggles that I have. The results are fucking delayed. The money that you wanna make, you're not gonna get that money for the work you put in today until months from now, right? The physique you want, you're not gonna get that fucking physique that you want tomorrow by putting in the work today. It takes weeks, it takes months, depending on how, on how hard you go, how, how intentional you are, how dedicated and consistent you stay, is gonna determine whether or not you get the results faster or you get them in a longer time frame. That is the separating factor. How much intentional effort are you putting forth to said task is going to determine the time frame at which everything unfolds and basically just goes down. So you just have to realize that everything you've been doing, it's been constantly spiraling and spiraling and spiraling because you haven't made any drastic changes in your current life that signaled to you that you're ready to move on and ready to progress and to become a better person, okay? If you can do that, you could signal to yourself by just taking different courses of action every single day, putting yourself in different new environments that you would not put yourself in, treat yourself internally with positive dialogue and stop being so selfish, right? Put other people before yourself. Okay, this is the easiest way to stop being depressed and stop being anxious. Put other people's needs before your own. This is why you keep t you keep caving for fucking temptation, keep caving for lust, because you're putting your own needs before the needs of other people. That's why it's so important to serve everyone around you, right? If you, if you create a business that's a service-based business, you'll be so much more likely to develop better habits and to develop better systems for yourself because you know that if you have the right systems and habits, that the people that you're servicing are just gonna follow you. That they're gonna be the people who you idolize in terms of for your own self. When you look in the mirror, you see yourself and you're like, this is the person that I wanna be, so therefore, life is gonna reflect your clients the same way, right? If you have a service business. And it's also gonna completely get rid of any sort of negativity that you have within yourself. And as soon as you stop doing that though, you will go right back into the old, old version of yourself. And I know that for a fact. Every time everything is going well with what I wanna be doing in life, everything, every time everything is going bad with what I wanna be doing in life, right? No matter which one it is, I, it always brings me back to the conclusion that if I just simply stop putting people first, I'm gonna feel like shit. And if I start being more self-absorbed, self -absorbed, I'm gonna feel like shit. But if I start putting other people first again, and I start prioritizing, how can I motivate them? How can I help my clients get better results faster? How can I create better systems so that they can get better results, right? It's like whatever it is for you, how can you do X, Y, Z thing, insert your own shit? How can you do that better so that you can help whoever it is you need to help? That's, that's the key to overcoming all these obstacles within yourself. But it only starts when you decide to make that decision for yourself. So just make the decision, man. And stop putting it off. Stop waiting until tomorrow. Even if it's uncomfortable, that's part of life. Life is gonna be uncomfortable. Life is gonna be fucking confusing. You're not gonna, it's gonna be foggy. You're not gonna know what to do sometimes. But it's about the trust and the faith and the action that everything is gonna work out the way that you wanted it to work out just because you trusted the process and took the action because you also made it easier for yourself. You wrote, you wrote it down. You might write it down the day before and then the next day you wake up and you're like, I don't wanna do this, but at least you wrote it down the night before so now you have no excuse. But if you don't write shit down, you might forget about it, you might get distracted on TikTok or Instagram or social, some social media and just fuck off. And then two days later you might remember it again 
and then you're not going to write it down again. You're not going to do it. Very rarely is everything going to line up perfectly unless you intentionally decide to, to just put time into that thing and whatever else you were going to do, you just don't do it and you do the thing you're supposed to do. Very rarely is everything going to line up perfectly where the stars are going to align and you're going to be able to get it done even when you don't write it down and you don't set time apart from everything else to do it. And it's never going to happen pretty much. So you just have to develop the better systems and the better habits and that is what I've been given all my clients and that's what I've given myself and that's changed everything for me. It really has. And I still am getting used to certain aspects of what I've adapted for myself and also what I've adapted and changed for my clients. And it's everything is an evolutionary process, but that's, that's what life is about. It's about evolving, it's about adapting, and it's about, at the end of the day, trying to get rid of the weak, weak, weak versions of yourself, the weak parts of you, and replacing them and making them stronger so that you don't have any more weak points. That's, that's all life is, because if you can get rid of all your weak points and you can strengthen them and turn them into positives, then nobody from the external can hurt you, you can't hurt you anymore, so then nothing can hurt you. It's just you walking with your own like sense of confidence for the, for, for the fucking one time, your own sense of competence, and then you have God who's guiding you and he's helping you and he's fucking steering you down the right path while you're rowing the boat. All right, my friends? So get after it this week, crush the fucking week, and don't be lazy. Fight against your laziness because that is the only thing that's ever gonna stop you. It's your laziness, and it's your arrogance, okay? Fight against that by putting other people first, and I promise you that everything will go the way that you want it to be. If you want to work with me, comment the word mentor or apply down below, and I'll see y'all. Peace.